Hello students, it is going to be a small sharing session with you all in this video. Just to take a break from your continuous study, I am going to talk about uh, simple mistakes or the common errors students do in the answer paper. At the time of examination, when we would be in examination hall, we would be a little bit nervous and we would be in hurry to complete our work in time. In such situation, we won't be able to take notice of the small errors we do in our answer paper or the silly mistakes we are going to talk about these mistakes mainly the words we use and the terms we use and the language we use to write answers these are going to make a lot of difference in scoring total marks at the end okay in the classroom uh, teachers make us understand the chapter we understand the concept and after understanding concept we have to write them or reproduce them by writing uh, proper words by using proper terms, words, and the language for that reading is very important. Reading from book is very important because it makes us familiar with the appropriate terms, words, and the language that need to be used to write answers for that particular subject because it differs from subject to subject. Now we are talking about science subject in this video. Okay, so what I see is every batch of students uh, repeat the same mistakes every group of students do the same mistakes in subject science so uh, i thought uh, uh, let the children know about this kind of errors okay so that they will make a habit of avoiding this kind of errors while they prepare for exams okay let's talk about the common mistakes students do let's start from physics part numerical solution numerical problem solution in numerical problem solutions many students do not write units okay they do not write units even for writing values sometimes you get the question to write value of uh, acceleration due to gravity on the jupiter uh, value of universal gravitational constant value of atmospheric pressure at the sea level the students write values but they forget to write units and for this they lose marks and next is uh, in numerical problem solution while substituting values while putting values in formula students do errors for example in pascal's law f1 divided by a1 equal to f2 divided by a2 okay in this formula students uh, will be asked to find the force on larger piston f2 the students will end up finding force on the smaller piston f1 that happens because students put values, they substitute values in wrong places. Okay, so similar uh, mistakes happen in uh, transformer formula uh, ns by np equal to vs by bp. Okay, so students are asked to find number of turns in the secondary coil, students will end up finding number of turns in the primary coil. Or if students are asked to find output voltage they will end up finding input voltage so these kind of errors happen you all have to be careful and another thing is uh, following format you must follow format to uh, do the solution because there is marks for every step okay uh, in the first step we have to write informations given in the question okay data given in the question then after we have to write the formula required to solve the problem yes so up to this much there is marks up to writing formula and again uh, in we have to substitute values in formula put the values in formula and we have to do calculation so there is marks for this step and uh, to find the answer and write the answer with uh, unit there is marks for this one so there is marks for every step you should not miss out a step okay and uh, there is a proper way of concluding numerical solution okay there is a good way of ending solution and we do that by writing answer statement okay after finding answer if you write neat answer statement then it looks good many students do not do this of course your answer is correct you'll get the marks but it is not going to make good impression on the examiner okay uh, so you have to be careful and uh, next thing is let's talk about drawing part okay uh, most of the drawings come from biology part what students do is uh, either they draw too big diagram or too small diagram and many of the students do not draw in the middle of the page also that does not look good students draw with pencil okay but when it comes to labeling they do with pencil pen ink pen and it should not be done 
it is not allowed okay and any students do not write captions or the heading name of the diagram that is also careless way of doing work and next thing is the students take very long time to complete the diagram that is due to lack of practice okay so um, uh, long time should not be taken to draw the diagram because uh, in loose time you may not get time to write answers of other questions okay losing time is very very dangerous risky in the exam time <clears throat> so you have to do practice perfectly perfect practice okay you have to do a lot of practice so that you will make yourself perfect in drawing diagram okay so these are the common mistakes students do uh, in drawing part now let's go to writing answers part in writing answers students do numerous mistakes okay for example many students use only one word to write answers okay one word write one word answers won't be appropriate to write answers for all types of questions of course there are uh, objective questions <clears throat> there are questions in which we need to write one word answers for example full forms and writing values okay but uh, one word answer won't be appropriate to write answers for all types of questions okay uh, one word answer will be appropriate for full forms and writing values okay so this thing and students use phrases and incomplete sentences to write answer for example if you are asked to write the definition of uh, um, gravity okay uh, pulling force of the earth on a body full stop and if students are asked to write definition of geothermal energy energy obtained from deep inside the earth full stop and definition of power of lens then reciprocal of focal length full stop uh, so nothing more than that so this is a kind of writing only phrase okay so this should be avoided uh, your point is correct but examiner won't be happy to see this kind of answers and next thing is in writing uh, short short answers for example metal if you are asked to write ores then students write ores but they do not write which metal okay they leave it for the examiner to understand okay so this should not be done and uh, writing answers in differences between questions okay uh, differences between arteries and bend differences between uh, you know thermosetting plastic thermoplastic differences between uh, filament lamp fluorescent lamp differences between soap and detergent what happens in this case is let me tell you let's take the example of arteries and veins okay uh, arteries carry oxygenated blood and veins carry deoxygenated blood correct and when it comes to the second point then what happens is arteries are thick walled and veins are thin walled right but what students do is they reverse the position okay by reversing position thin wall comes under arteries and thick wall comes un under veins so this this makes the point incorrect so this kind of reversing position happens in all kinds of differences between many types of differences between many students do this they know the answers but you know because of nervousness and because of hurry the, they write incorrectly okay so these things should be uh, avoided and uh, you know while writing uh, position for uh, you know element in the periodic table the students write group also they write period also they do not write which element okay the element should be written which is asked that should be written okay the position of this this is so and so okay group and period right supposing uh, period 3 group 3a the element is not written which element so this kind of errors happen and um, uh, you know then writing answers uh, let's take example of a specific heat capacity amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one kg of substance by one degree celsius or unit mass of substance by one degree celsius what students write is in place of one kg they write one gram so the entire statement will be incorrect okay so and next is uh, in writing answers of uh, you know ratios of second filial generation in mono hybrid cross okay uh, students will be asked to write uh, phenotype ratio and genotype ratio of second filial generation for phenotype ratio students write 3 is to 1 that is correct okay but after 3 is to 1 student don't write anything okay these numbers okay um, what do these numbers stand for it should be written 3 is for tall and 1 is for short. That should be written. 3 is to 1 equal to tall is to dwarf. That should be written. Okay. 
so that makes your answer complete but what students do eat uh, is they write only 3 is to 1 and when it comes to genotype ratio students write 1 is to 2 is to 1 that is correct ratio but they do not make it clear these numbers okay what do these numbers stand for okay 1 is to 2 is to 1 equal to how it should be written pure tall is to hybrid tall is to pure dwarf no it makes the answer clear okay so students write only 1 is to 2 is to 1 nothing more than that so this does not make the answer clear clear to understand it should not be done this way so you all have to be careful so these are the few things uh, students uh, you know make mistakes in such cases uh, i could remember this much for now and we'll be sharing more in upcoming videos and uh, finally what i want to tell you is you do your work in a neat way okay uh, tidy work every examiner wants to see tidy work right and your handwriting should be good it does not mean that you have to decorate your handwriting stick to your own handwriting but you make it sure that it is understandable it is eligible okay clear to understand uh, and uh, what students do is in the beginning they write with good handwriting and as they progress further okay handwriting gets worse okay they become careless in writing and it should not be done you should maintain consistency okay uh, so these are the points you need to remember and uh, make time to draw lines at the end okay so after writing every main answer you draw the line it makes your answer presentable okay do not lose time in recalling answer and you know uh, drawing diagram in such things because you have to do work on time properly okay yes you have to take appropriate amount of time to write particular answer right so that you will be able to attempt all the questions you'll be able to write answers of all the questions so um, uh, this much for now uh, so i want to wish you good luck for your examination have a happy study